what's up? Today I'm going to show you some film burn effects you can use in your trap music video and your music video, however you want to use them. I mainly see them in trap music videos. We're going to be doing three different film burns. Two of them are green screens, which can be downloaded in the link in the description for free. And then one of them, you're going to need the plugin suite universe a red giant universe and we're going to use the effects ecto in that one if you guys want to help the channel out i made 20 burn transitions that you can use in any editing program i made it sure it was green screen and blue screen so you can use it in imovie if you really wanted to and for ten dollars you can get 20 transitions that you can't get anywhere else i rendered out all of these and i made all these by hand so if you really want to help the channel out and promote more tutorials help me out by buying a pack that being said, let's get into the tutorial. It's not going to take that long, but also follow my Instagram because I stumble on your guys' Instagrams all the time and you guys watch my tutorials, but you don't follow me on Instagram. So follow my Instagram real quick. All right. So starting off with our timeline, you guys probably already have a video edited or music video edited and you'll have an ugly transition like this, where it's just a straight cut from one clip to another. Now you're going to need a clip, obviously, and you're going to want your second clip to be under your original clip so this is my second clip and you're going to want it to fill in all these spaces right here now we can start the transition so drag and drop your transition i'm just going to do let's say this one and you can see i made the transitions three to four seconds because some people like their transitions very long i prefer very short fast transitions but you know now you have the versatility and the option to do it so this is too long for me and we need the transition to start from here where my marker is and end right here where my marker is which is also the length of the second clip so press r on your keyboard and then move your cursor to the end of the transition until the squiggly comes up and i just move that to the end of my clip my top clip and then do that the same for the other side and then now our transition lasts as long as the this bottom and top clip now we need to just chrome key out the green and blue so go to the effects search up ultra key drag ultra key on to the transition effect controls of your transition eyedropper tool click that and click the green now we have half of the transition you can see there's some overlapping green right here you can just clean that up however you like it by increasing the tro uh, increasing the choke increasing the soften and then just really messing with the settings on however you like it but for right now let's just get on with the tutorial that's gonna annoy me okay and then now we need to finish the blue screen so grab your first clip now and your second clip and your transition sorry and highlight both of them right click nest okay now go back to effects ultra key effect controls eyedropper tool and i'll click the blue now you have this burn transition from one clip to the other clip just like that so i said i'm going to show you a transition where you don't have to use the green screens you can just make it yourself so the first thing you want to do is you want to have the same setup again where your clip is on top of your other clip right here just like this and then the length of this clip is however long your transition is going to be now you're going to want to go to your effects panel and search up luma key drag that onto your top clip go to the effect controls bring this all the way down keyframe this by pressing this little stopwatch so it keyframes at zero you can go to the end and press 100 just like that and then you can also mess with the cutoff which is probably what I'm going to do as well. I'm going to keyframe the cutoff right here. And then I'm going to go to the end of the clip and press and drag it to 100. So it looks like this. Now you're going to want to nest the top clip by itself. So just right click the top clip, nest, OK. Now look up Ecto in your effects panel. Universe, universe text, universe Ecto. Drag it onto your top clip. Now you have this film burn type thing. But fire is red and fire isn't blue. So what we want to do is go to the effect controls, make sure the top clip is selected, change this cool to warm. And then now we have this thing. Now you can get, obviously every clip is going to be different and you can get different effects by changing the cutoffs 
and like positioning the keyframe. So let's say you, we really don't like this. All we have to do is double click the nest, click the frame again, and then just keyframe the cutoffs again, keyframe the highlights, and then we should get a different effect something slightly different like this so they actually burn and then they go away like that which is probably more of a fire burn and that looks pretty sick IMO. thanks for watching guys sony vegas part now and hopefully follow my instagram and buy a pack okay so we're using vegas pro 17 i recommend using vegas pro 17 instead of any earlier versions because vegas pro 17 has nesting capabilities if you're using an earlier version you're just going to have to render it out and then just follow the process with the new rendered clip but since vegas pro 17 has nesting now i decided just to use that so you're going to have your timeline already set up because you're editing and whatnot and you're going to want something set up like this you're going to want your clip your first clip that's the start of the transition and then your bottom clip, so this one right here, is the clip you're transitioning into. And then you're gonna want you're gonna want it to be overlapping like this. And however long this is for is however long the transition is gonna be. So I made the I made the green screen transitions three to four seconds because I know some of you like very long transitions. I personally like very short transitions. And so I guess you have the versatility to make it shorter and not longer, right? So you're, you're going to want to grab one of the green screen transitions, like this one, and then drag it over both the clips. Now, this is a little bit longer than the allotted time transition, so I'm just going to hold Control, go to the end of it, wait for the squiggly line, and then just drag it to where it fits. Now we're going to want to go to the Video Effects panel, look up Key or Chroma Keyer, click on that drag the default on and a thing to note is the first color you see is what the first thing you're going to want to do so this automatically does blue just like this but if it did green it wouldn't show up right like green like usual so just because it's blue right now just for this transition blue is the first one just so you guys know blue so now if we look right now it should be half a transition so now here's where the vegas pro 17 comes in handy so highlight your transition right by clicking on it hold control and click on the bottom clip underneath it which is your first clip and then once those are both highlighted go down here to your little toolbar type of deal and click on this little plus this little green plus button with this other button and it's called created a nested timeline click that click yes and then two windows are going to pop up. I'm going to type burn to three because I did this once already. And then another one's going to pop up. Oh, nope, I guess not. I guess I'm fine. Okay, so now that we nested it, it put us into the nested project. Now we need to go back to the main project. We'll just go back to the same toolbar and click on this little project right here, open parent timeline. And so now we have a nested video like this and we just need to chroma key out the green this time so highlight your nested video now drag chroma key here since it's already there just drag the default on on the color click that on the eyedropper tool just click any green so now if we look at the video we should have a fire transition now let me it's been a while since i used vegas so let me pre-render this is it still shift a like that a fire transition now there's a lot of things going on because these are just music videos i edited that put together so there's a lot of transitions in the, in the videos themselves but just imagine it as single clips like that now there is some overlapping right here where you can see the video that just means that your key isn't all that well so just change your key so I'm gonna click this FX button and I'm bring out the low threshold down and bring out the high threshold down so now there's no overlapping or fading in of the other video before so now we have a proper burn transition like that
but like I said before, this is a music video, so there is transitions before.